Hello, this is Justice Spectrum, and welcome back to another video. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a video explaining why I thought um, zero to the power of zero um, would equal one, and a lot of people uh, commented on that. Um, it got more views than I was expecting. A lot of people telling me, explaining me why I'm wrong, and to be fair, I wasn't doing that as sort of a um, educational video. It was just a thought I had had and wanted to um, make a video about. Really, it was just a filler video. Anyways, but um, what I've come away from this thinking is that there's basically three ways of um, thinking about zero to the power of zero. Um, one, and this is probably the most common, is that zero to the power of zero is undefined because that would require you to, um, divide, um, zero to the power of one, which equals zero, it would, uh, require you to divide that by zero, and zero to um, zero divided by zero, well, division by zero is undefined, um, which is fair. The problem I have with this, though, is that you can do um, zero to the power of two divided by well, you can have 0 to the power of 2, and obviously you can have exponents of 2, but if you try to reverse that, then you can't reverse it because that would make 0 to the power of 1 undefined. And again, obviously, 1, 0 equals 1, 0. So 0 to the power of 1 can't be undefined because it is 0. As is every positive number, every positive exponent of 0. Now, I can accept that every negative exponent of zero is undefined because I don't know any way to arrive at those numbers other than dividing by zero. But that still leaves zero because zero is um, neither positive nor negative. And most of the rebuttals revolved around this thought that you can't arrive at zero to the power of zero by dividing by zero because division by zero is undefined. And um, what I was saying was that a one is presumed, one times zero times zero times zero, and um, these are your exponents, you just cross them all off, and you have a zero, and you, now you have zero to the power of zero equals one. Now admittedly, I just kind of came up with that one that doesn't really come from anything, but at the end of the day, we're dealing with um, made up numbers. Zero to the power of zero isn't an actual number that anybody would use in real life. So this is all just kind of ridiculous in its own way. But the other thing was, someone said that you can start with, say 27, which is 3 to the 3, divided by 3, divided by 3, and that's, um, that gets you, what, 9, 3, equals 3, now divide that by 3, equals 1. Now what I thought is, hey, if you divide, um, if you do the same thing, again, you can't divide zero by zero, which again would make this, would make every positive exponent of zero um, undefined. But say we did it a different way. Suppose we put those three times three times three over one, which equals 27 over one or 27. And again, you can just cross those all out, and you're left with 1. Okay, 
Let's see how this works with our zeros. Zero times zero times zero over one, you cross it all out, you're still left with the zeros. Now to get to the negative exponents, you would have to put zero times zero times zero, which is division by zero, so negative exponents are still undefined. And just to show that it works the same with um, other numbers besides zero, we put the one over three times three times three, which equals one twenty-seventh, which is the same as three to the negative three. And then the last um, way of thinking of zero to the power of zero is that zero to the power of zero approaches zero. Um, put a squiggly line there. Zero. I only saw one person saying this, and he said that somebody had recently proved that zero approaches zero. Now, I don't know um, what system of logic this person used to arrive at zero approaches zero, or zero to the power of zero approaches zero, because we know that every other number to the power of zero equals one. So you can't plot them on a graph and say, okay, here, let's make a graph here. You can't plot them on a graph and say that x to the zero approaches zero because x to the zero by plotting every um here go ahead. we have x to the zero every other value of x to the zero all the way from negative a million to zero point zero 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 one every one of these to the zero equals one so that, that doesn't really make sense to me. And then, um, so to get zero to the power of zero equal, or approaches zero, the, the problem I have is that you have to do this without doing any math. You just have to assume it does. Because obviously, if you never multiply nothing by nothing, what does that mean? It is perhaps, in that sense, undefined. If you never multiply zero by zero, well then, yeah, it can't, there's no, there's no logical sense to say that from that logic that it would equal one, but that wouldn't necessarily approach zero either. And it's obviously not going to map onto some other number, like a really, really, really small decimal point. And it's not going to map onto any um, imaginary number, like i. Now, to be fair, the imaginary numbers are imaginary. They were made up to equal, um, they're, they're made up to answer the question of what does, or what is the square of negative, or the square root of negative one is i. Okay. So we could add a z a z to our graph and make it the extra imaginary numbers where, um, I don't know, y, then that doesn't make sense because y is this graph. We could say that, I 
don't know. Iota is um, zero to the power of zero. But again, we're dealing with imaginary numbers. We're dealing with made up numbers at this point and pretty much at any point. Um, so, I don't know. This is just a s silly, stupid video. Um, but hopefully, um, hopefully I sound less stupid than I did in my last one. Anyways, though, with that all being said, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.